Good evening everybody, this is Nyalka again and let's now proceed to the next tutorial on how to generate and prepare report for this little lighting design that we've created a while ago. So now this uh, light scene is for general scenes, like not general scenes, that is for the overall light scenes. So if we selected this uh, thumbnail, it shows that all are now open okay from here we can generate now our uh, report usually um, in our office we created uh, three main images for the client one is the pseudo color one is the rendering and one is the lighting layout so how how are we going how how we are doing that is uh, by showing it in the top view so go to the story tab and um, make your image uh, in line like like what I'm doing right now okay and then once you did this one go to the export and save this view so go to the export and save new view this will be your uh, first ray trace image and then go to the um, Go to the display option again and open the pseudo color and then save this one again. And because the Lux Evo is very powerful in the 2D rendering, also you can we can generate again another pseudo color but in a flat view. Like go to the plan view or plan tab, zoom extend, and then open this results overview, zoom extend again. And then go to the calculation objects, or if you don't uh, actually get, it's okay not to go there. So you can see now that even in the 2D, we can generate our pseudo color. This is similar to AGI 32 software. They can do the same like this. So save new view, press that one. And now we have three options. So we usually uh, send these images to the client and uh, okay let's have the screenshot of this one I want the print screen so print screen I will use that one for for other purposes and then aside from those uh, images like pseudo color and the ray trace uh, sorry not ray trace rendered image uh, the client needs also the lighting layout so zoom extend go to the light tab and uh, click the tab again but right now we don't need to show the the cove lightings because it's too much it's it's it blocks the other spotlights so just select the luminaire and then deselect those uh, strip lights so I selected now all the fittings except the LED strip so I now have the lighting layout selection for for this uh, retail shop so what we're going to do is go to the export again or just screenshot this one because uh, we will prepare it uh, using the screenshot only and go to the paint and paste it yeah okay because uh, we will show it uh, this image the client showing the luminaire locations all right so either you will uh, add it add it to your uh, views so save new views but be careful because this one will make your file very heavy so that's why I did the screenshot because I'm planning to just uh, use this screenshot rather than this one because this one is really heavy okay so how I did select how did I selected it so I just select everything and then press the control and deselect the other stuff all right so um, so the most three important um, the three most important images that the client needs are the rendered image top view the pseudo color and sometimes the flat and then the lighting layout these are the three important images so but some clients also prefer to have the uh, render, rendered images and um, yeah because they want to see how it looks 
when properly lighted so um, what we're going to do now is create some views so I, for example I want this view so go to the save new view and later on we will retrace everything just keep on saving first select your view just imagine you are a photographer and you do the pictures uh, you do ca you you capture all the scenes or the areas in the retail shop and keep saving keep keep saving the views because once you keep this uh once you save the views you can go back and forth on that for example the one i created a while ago so when you double click the thumbnail it goes there and then yeah it means you're saving your view it's like you're capturing the image image and these are just a rendered image it will be much uh, amazing if we did the the ray tracing later on okay so keep saving your views um, the the more the better because later on you will select which one is the best uh, views you can suggest to the client or you can show to the client okay so this side also you can maybe add this um, area you can create your views from story tab or selling area tab but uh, because story tab has uh, all the walls complete it's not open uh, sometimes it's much better but you can also do that also in um, selling area tab or the room tab okay then this one save new view you can also create a pseudo color for this one for example like what I did a while uh, before now I save the view for example like this I will save it save new view and then I will open the display window tab and open the pseudo color and then I will save it again save new view so now I will have um, rendered image and then the pseudo color image amazing right that's why I love Dialux Evo this is so amazing and then go to the other side also maybe you want to show the um, fitting room area so go to the fitting room but it doesn't look good like this because the ceiling is so high okay but if you want to show it you can also do it like this so save new view also the other one fitting room you can also save a view for that this is too high okay then save new view and also for the uh, stack room we can also create um, pictures or images uh, to the stack room. so you can uh, view or create a view like this yeah for example uh, like this okay save new view and if you want to add also the pseudo color you can also do it save new view and then if you want to have another one on the other side you can also do like this so another view save new view if you want to add the pseudo color again you can do that yep okay so you can do like this also yeah, so keep on saving. Make yourself like, uh, imagine yourself as a photographer. And uh, the more you save, the better because uh, later on you will select which one is the best uh, image to be included in the presentation for your client. So for example, I will do this and add this one in my overall images. Save it's saving now okay let's save this one and then uh, let's continue it later okay so I've finished uh, doing a lot of pictures in this retail shop now let's proceed to do the ray tracing so this first view I want to create a ray trace for this one so go to the ray tracer tab and then select the highest go to your slider and select the 160 by 120 pixels so you can crop it and uh, you will have very high resolution images once you submit it to your client and then just press the rate 
tracing. Uh, this is the one I have ray traced before. So you can see the glossiness on the wall. You can see it there. So the texture is not good. That's why I changed the texture for this hat. And also on the other side, yeah, I created some uh, ray trace image for the shoe area. So let's go and ray trace it now. Sometimes it takes time because if the objects has lots of mirrors and uh, lots of uh, sparkling objects or ref the reflectance of the surfaces are so high, then it re really takes time to do the ray tracing. So while waiting, let's uh, save it for now. Okay, here we go. We now have the first generated ray traced image and see how it looks. Those reflections from the marble, the mirror, and look at these mirrors looking good, amazing. And there are no glossiness on the floor. I think I did not put lots of glossy texture on the floor, but it's okay. Okay, so this is the first uh, ray trace image. We can create a lot more if we wish to, yeah. Uh, for example, this view. Yeah, we can create an image for this one or maybe from the glass uh, view yes this side i think this is perfect okay so let's run another ray trace image for this one and let's see how it looks later okay so the next ray trace image is done see how it looks the reflections from the mirror it's amazing from the glass door looks good so you can create a lot of uh, ray trace images if you like and uh, as long as you want to impress the client create more and uh, select the best one and then yeah so that's it um, i will create uh, um, other ray trace images while uh, saving it and then uh, later we will go to our documentation page all right